Okay, so here is our challenge today, and a lot of students may be saying, okay, mister, this is challenge I've ever seen, edition, division, everyone learned the stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section, you will be shocked about the correct answer, because a lot of students make this mistake, so I hope you will not make this mistake right here, 10 plus 28 divided by 2 is 3 option A, B and C, and we will check our answer in the end of the video. So first of all, I want to start with this first interpretation, so this is our first interpretation. So a lot of students solve this question like that, we have 10 plus 28 divided by 2. So here's our challenge. And a lot of students may be saying, okay, 10 plus 28 right here from left to right, let's solve this challenge. So we have 38, yeah, and divided by 2, we have, looks like we have 19, and this is option A. So a lot of students solve this question like that, they say, okay, option A is the correct answer, and let's go to the next question. But in terms of math, we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. It's it's not works like that. In terms of math, it's really bad thing to solve this challenge randomly, to solve this challenge wherever we want. We should know what is the correct order, correct property, and it's not works only like that in terms of math. For example, in biology, chemistry, we should know what is the correct definition, correct property, correct law, correct rule, correct method, yeah? And in terms of math, the same thing. We should know what is the correct property. We can't solve these challenges wherever we want. And in this second interpretation, let's look, for example, at this PEMDAS order of operation. We should know what is the correct order of operation, because obviously, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, okay? And how does this PEMDAS work? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom, so first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, next we should evaluate exponents, next we should evaluate multiplication division group, and the next step is addition and subtraction group, okay? So right now let's scan what elements do we have in our challenge. We have only addition and division. So first we should find where do we have this addition, addition right here, and next we have, like, uh, what do we have right here? Division, yeah, we have division right here. We don't have multiplication, we don't have exponent, we don't have parentheses, and we don't have subtraction. So we have only addition and division part. And as I told before, higher position means that the, the element have the higher priority. So division has the higher priority than addition. So it means that doesn't matter, multiplication division group have the higher priority than addition subtraction. So first we should evaluate the expression where do we have the division sign and the last step is addition subtraction. So addition subtraction is our last step, doesn't matter, addition subtraction last step. So first of all division has the higher priority, so division is our second, first step and second step is sub addition, yeah? So division first, addition second, division we have right here, so we have 10 plus, we have 28 divided by 2, we have 14. And as a result, addition, basic addition right here, so 10 plus 14, which is equal to 24. And uh, this is a really great moment because we don't have this option 24, we don't have this answer, and then a lot of students go back to this 19, they say, okay, 19 is a correct answer, we don't have this 24, or 19 is a correct answer. But if you look closely, 19 is a correct answer with parentheses right here, because without parentheses we add at first, we solve this question absolutely randomly from left to right, but we need to know about order of operation. But with parentheses, this is a okay solution, because parentheses has the highest priority, then addition will have the higher priority than division, okay? But in our case, without parentheses, addition first, which is really bad thing in terms of math. So with parentheses, this is a great solution. In our case, we don't have parentheses. So forget about this option A. This is a bad solution. 19 is a correct solution with parentheses, but in our case, we don't have parentheses. So let's look at our challenge. We have division first and then addition, which is absolutely correct solution. What about our answer right here? Let's look at it. Where do we have this option? We don't have this 24, but 4 factorial. Let's look at it. What do we what do it's equal to? Okay, 4 factorial. 1 times 2 times 3 and times 4. Here's our product from 1 to 4, and if you multiply all of this, we have 24. Yeah, we have 2 times 1 times 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 4, we have 24, which is option option B. So, here's my notes. A correct answer is uh, 24, a correct answer is option B, and a correct solution is in this second interpretation. But don't forget about this first interpretation. A lot of students make this mistake. A lot of students solve this question like that. Addition first, then division. This is a great solution, but with parentheses. If we don't have parentheses, we can't do like that. We can't uh, add it first, then divide. With parentheses, okay, 10 plus 28 equal to 38, and then division is our last step is and the correct answer is 19. In our case, forget about this first interpretation, correct answer is 24, option B, which is absolutely the same as 4 factorial, so it doesn't matter. Let's write our answer. This is option 
be. And uh, you, you, can, you can easily check this answer in calculator, but don't use a regular calculator because, you know, sometimes happen that those type of calculators work with problem as you type it in. For example, you plug in 10 plus 28 and sometimes calculators gives you 38, which is absolutely wrong first step, yeah? As we, as we had before, right here, first step is um, division and try to find the calculator where we can plug in the whole entire problem. If you plug in the whole entire problem, then calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. Calculator know, okay, I have division, I have uh, addition, division. So then I know division first, then addition. And the correct answer is 24. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos. So thank you for your time, thank you for your support. See you in the next videos and have a great day.